Welcome to part two of Mod My Supra, where today we're gonna finish the build and do the big reveal to Vin. If you guys have watched part one, and if you haven't, go back and watch it before you watch this episode. You will recall that we did an awe tuning exhaust system as well as an engine intake and this very nice carbon lip kit from Rexspeed. So that's where we stand with the build right now. As you can see, we've got the rear wheel off because we thought we needed it off to get this rear uh, splitter installed. We didn't actually need to do that in hindsight, but that means it's a good opportunity now to take a closer look at our wheel and tire setup. That's right, everyone. We hit the easy button on how to make your car look better by going with Volk Racing's TE37. This is the SL edition or Super Lap edition in this beautiful matte bronze finish in a 19 by 10 and a half plus 35 offset. It is designed specifically for the A90. This is like their A90 uh, fitment. And uh, man, being a form forged wheel, it is extremely light, extremely strong. As a matter of fact, we weighed the OE wheel and tire combo. It weighed 54 and a half pounds, and we weighed this at 48 pounds. So you are saving six pounds by making this swap, which is pretty incredible. And as for tires, you can see that we have once again gone with, gone with Continental's Extreme Contact Sport Tire. This is our de facto high performance street tire. We love this tire. It is incredibly good on the street. It's amazing in the rain. It's very quiet and civilized on the road, but it could also handle track duty. So Vin can go to the track on this setup, whether he's at TMP or the big track at Mosport where he's going in a few, uh, a few days and run these tires very confidently in that environment. And if it rains, he's got all the grip in the world because this is a class leading rain tire. So love the tire. It's gonna work perfectly on this car for, for what Vin is doing. And uh, we also went with this tire because I have a little surprise for you guys at the end, but maybe you'll be starting to piece it together now. Before I put the front wheel and tire on, I should mention that Vin has already equipped his Supra with an H&R lowering spring, which lowers the front an inch and the rear three quarters of an inch. And uh, as you would have noticed off the top, it does give it a really nice stance. So we thought about going to a coilover system or some kind of a performance shock, but the truth is this has a very sophisticated shock on it already. It's a, one of those magnetic shocks that has a, a sport mode where it stiffens up and then a comfort mode where it's more comfortable on the street. And it's really hard to beat that on a car like this, which is a dual purpose street and track car. So unless you're converting it to a race car, we really didn't see the logic in getting rid of this very advanced shock. So I think in our, from our point of view, this lowering spring on this shock is kind of the perfect setup for, for Vin's car. So that's why we're leaving that alone. Just getting the front wheel and tire on here now. And uh, as you can see, the front is a narrower wheel. It's a 19 by nine and a half plus 22 offset, which uh, the front, the, the stock setup is also staggered. So we've stayed with that, but we have upsized the tire size a little bit. So we've gone from a 255 stock to a 265 in these Continentals. And same in the rear, we've gone from a 275 stock to a 285. So we've added a bit of contact patch width for them. So much grip. So that'll, that'll add some grip in the corner. And I will also, we'll also add that these Continentals we found having tried them on so many different cars as well as having tried the Michelins that come on this car stock that we think this is a better tire all around. It's a little bit faster in the dry, but it's also way better in the wet and we think it lasts a lot longer than the, those Michelins do. So you're getting a lot of upside with this, with this uh, upgrade. So uh, we're really happy to be adding these onto the build. Before we do the big reveal, we have a couple of things to put on the inside of the car here from Rexbeat again. They provide us with these really nice little carbon accent pieces, including these two little strips that go on the dash in front of the passenger seat as well as a, uh, a, a carbon logo and a lower steering wheel element so these both go on the wheel and carbon paddles for your paddle shifter which i think is going to be really nice and as you can see these are all in that same uh, two by two twill carbon just like the factory has around the shifter here so it's going to just tie it all together really nicely it also looks like it should be super simple. It's, it looks like it's a, a 3M kind of install. So let's get to it. And there we go. All our little carbon accents are in place, all cut to the correct shape. So it just falls into place nicely. I really like how subtle it is too. It, and, and the way they've added in the super logo on the dash here and on the steering wheel, I think is a nice touch too. Are you guys ready for our tastefully modified A90 Supra? There it is.
Man, I don't know about you guys, but I am really happy the way this thing turned out. I think it's gonna blow Vin's mind. It just looks so good. It's so much more aggressive somehow. But speaking of aggressive, I think we've teased you long enough on the sound front. Let me jump in there and fire this thing up so we can hear what the exhaust sounds like and what the intake sounds like. <laughs> Excuse me while I finish my air gassing here, everyone. That was amazing. It sounds so good. And if you notice a difference on cold start, how aggressive it was, that's when it's in open loop for cold start. And then it quiets down once it gets into closed loop. So it does get nice and quiet once it's warmed up. So when you're sitting at a stoplight light, you're not going to be annoying the old lady next to you. But when you get on it. Oh, it sounds so amazing. Good. So good. So Vin is just rolling in here right now. So uh, let's run outside and greet him. All right, everyone. Finn is just rolling in and I wanted to show you his sweet Camry before we show him his Supra, which he doesn't know the details on. I've checked this thing out. It is a 1995 Camry SE, I think. But there's a few things about it. Obviously, it is in mint condition. And Vin, being a Toyota enthusiast, couldn't resist the lure of buying this thing. Why Vin? First of all, ignore the camera. We just thought it'd be fun to show our audience your really sweet new Camry. <laughs> Why did you do this? Why? I don't know. It's like uh, I grew up being in the back seat of one of these and it was like... It's a good deal. The, the guy really took care of it. Yeah, and, did he ever? And it just runs like weather smooth, and it's a tank, right? He it just keeps... wants a cool Radwood car, everyone. So, yeah. uh, by yeah. the way, Vin, come over here for a second. I want to show the world the coolest flex in the world. The, the original owner put all his rust check stickers in the windshield. What we didn't tell you, Vin, when we borrowed your Supra for uh, our showdown that we have planned with it, is that we decided to do a few mods to it too. Which we know you like modified cars. We've modified your FRS in the past, so. Hope you don't mind that we took the liberty of uh, tuning it up a little bit. I know it's a brand new car. I don't think we voided the warranty. So uh, come, come have a look at what we've done here. I think you'll be okay with it then. I think you'll be okay. Obviously, the wheels and tires have changed. It's a small upgrade from your OE uh, wheels. What do you think? Oh, man, yeah. I mean, <laughs> look, the wheels. Like, yeah, yeah, I mean, bronze the, Yeah, that, you can't that go wrong with that. sets off the car, I think it. Oh wow, it and it's so much fits so better. nicely with the ride height that you've selected oh, yeah. too. It looks really yeah, it, good. It looks really the offset dish. is perfect. I mean, this is a A90 spec Volk, so it's perfectly spec okay. out for your, for, you know, clear your brakes, be flush with the fenders, and that's right. Some carbon accents you're noticing right now, huh? Mm -hmm. wow. That is a Rex Speed front lip, which fits amazingly well. By the way, it all uses the factory. Uh, bolt holes and so on in the bumper cover so we don't have to drill any holes. It's really nice. Like the, fits up. The like look the way it fits really up. Good, yeah. Finishes perfectly with the, even the curvature matches yeah, the front. Yeah. You've got side Same splitters way. on there too. It's just tucked under there. And again that all uses Ooh. like factory pickup points so no drilling, no cutting, no nothing. That looks awesome. And cool little rear spats too which I think adds some real aggression to the rear of the car. It's all carbon too. Yeah and it's a nice, it's a proper true carbon in a 2x2 two twill two with a really high quality clear coat on it so it should age really well. I don't think it's going to fade on you. It's like glass here at clear coat, which is yeah. really high quality yeah. clear. So that is that the, uh, the exterior tune up, but it looks we've so also good. done a few little upgrades in the sound and horsepower department. So uh, oh. let's pop the hood real quick. Okay. Obviously you don't need more horsepower Vin, <laughs> but uh, we gave you a little bit more horsepower anyway <laughs> with this engine. Uh, they call it a cold air intake and I guess with wow. the heat shield and everything, it is a cold air intake. It's going to make some cool noises. You're going to hear the turbo a lot more. Oh wow. Obviously, you can't see the whole exhaust system, but you can recognize that the tips have changed from those stock chromies to these, what's called black diamond finish tips on the AWE Look. tuning system we put on. Looks nice, eh? Looks really good. Kind of like just really clean. aggressively subtle yeah. with the black in the back, and it sounds so good. We've yeah. done a little, you know, throttle blipping around here already, and it sounds super aggressive. Nice. But I think it's still, you know, 
contained enough that it's not going to be annoying. As a matter of fact, maybe it's time for you and I to go give it a heat okay. cycle right now. Yeah, let's do it. All right. All right, BP. We know it looks good, but it doesn't sound good. We need to find out, don't we? Yeah. Let's uh, find a little stretch where you can let it rip. I guess we could jump on the highway, but maybe we can just use this strip here. And okay. Maybe if we go down and turn around and then rip on the way back. Yeah. Because it's quite smooth, this area here. Oh, you can hear the intake. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can oh, hear the wow. intake a lot. Wow, I didn't expect that. Man, you can, uh, you can throw a Yui where this Robo is. Yes. Oh, God. Oh, yes. All the burbles. All right, buddy. It's time to lean into it. Let's do it. it off there. Interesting uh, experience the first time you take your wife for a cruise and see if she notices the difference. <laughs> yeah. Does she ride in it with you at she all? She does, she does, she likes it. What about your boys? Do they go out with you in it? Yeah, they love it. They love the backfiring, they love all that sound, so. The purple gonna... tune is the most immature sound in the world. It is, so it is. As a kid, I'm, I'm immature too, yes, so. I, lo I love it too. This is perfect. I hate it and I love it at the same time. Yeah. All right, buddy, well, let's head back to the shop because okay. now it's time for me to drop a bit of a bombshell on PT. Okay. There you have it everyone. What a blast it's been to work on our buddy Vin's 2020 Supra. Amazing car and I think we have made it look quite a bit cooler. Oh, Vin's looks so good. On it and uh, he actually had to get back to work because this is a, uh, a work day. So he is gone and I actually asked him to let us keep the car for a few extra days. Not because I want to go cruising in it, though I will do some of that. But it's because I had a, a secret plan in mind here and as those of you who have followed our Supercar Killer M3 build will recall, the reason we call it the supercar killer is that we were going to put it up against the supercar in the end in a uh, track battle at TMP. Got to thinking, you know, what supercar are we going to use? Well, TMP actually has an exotic car program there. They have a Lamborghini Gallardo included in that fleet. And That's I thought, what I thought you were going to pick. The Gallardo is a good, pretty good choice, right? I mean, it sounds amazing. It's fast, but it's also realistic. It's kind of like the same vintage as that M3. So rather than, you know, going with something super modern and super new, I wanted to pick something that was like a bit of a fairer fight. However, I came across Stradman's video where he put his Gallardo up against a bone stock Supra, which this is no longer, and the Supra was actually quicker than the Gallardo. And I thought, okay, so this is faster <laughs> than a supercar, and it's a Supra with a BMW engine. We built a BMW okay, with a Supra engine. All right. So we got like the reverse Supra against the other reverse Supra. It's just going to be a battle of Toyota versus Germany versus BMW supercar performance out of a car that is in so many ways kind of like the opposite of what we've built. So, I like it, uh, DP. I, I like it. I like it a lot. I think it'll be fun. I think you guys will enjoy it too. And maybe while we're at TMP, we'll, we'll park the Gallardo nearby so it can sulk while it watches its faster, more modern German brother do some uh, damage to Pete's M3 dreams over there. So... Man, I don't know how you're going to beat this thing, PT, with that gearbox, the way this thing accelerates uh, with modern I, I'm, technology. You've got me nervous now, you but I still feel we've, we've got a little bit of a horsepower advantage, so that may be my one claim to fame right now. Yeah, well, we're going to find out soon, so uh, stay tuned, guys, and you will see that battle. And if you're new to the channel, if you just jumped over here for super content, by all means, go and watch us swap a 2JZ into an M3. 
It's a really interesting build. I think it's probably the best thing we've ever built here. It's full of top shelf parts, and I really do think it'll give the Supra a run for its money. I don't know if it'll beat it or not. I mean, the Supra also is gonna have this, the driver mod going for it, so we'll see how that all plays out, everyone. You, got, you now have an automatic, too. I know, you it's got, the ultimate it's cheater like, car, uh, isn't it? Just pull on those paddles. Yeah, all supercars are automatics these days anyways. It's true. Paddle well, shift. Even if I beat you, Pete, I think you'll be having a whole lot of fun in that car. It's an amazing build, so please do go check it out, everyone. And uh, while you're at it, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and uh, if you want to help us build more things like the M3, then jump over to patreon.com forward slash speedacademy and throw a couple bucks at us over there.